see what's new at the movies. Good morning, Dickie. Yeah, thank you. Good morning, one and all. Look, there's a film out this week that'll make you smile with joy and quite possibly shed a tear as it tells the extraordinary story of a young lady from the UK who took the world by storm. It's called Back to Black. I want people to hear my voice. No, no, no. And just forget their troubles for five minutes. Do you know what girl power means to me? Sarah Vaughan, Lauren Hill. You need to know this. I ain't no Spice Girl. It is, of course, the story of Amy Winehouse, the fabulous British soul singer songwriter who reached the dizzy heights of success and experienced utter personal despair during her all too brief career. From primary school no, no, no. to sell out concerts. It's going to happen one of these days. Boys like yours got to. But it's one of the best I've ever heard. That's my daughter. That's my Amy. Across her two albums, Amy drew on her life experiences to write exceptional songs that touch the world. The album's number one around the world. The highest charting album from a British female artist in the US ever. The inspiration for many of the songs, her relationship with Blake, who she met in a pub in Camden, winning her heart. I don't think I was put on this earth just to sing. Me. I want to be a wife. I want to be a mum. Then breaking it. Probably run off with someone famous anyway. You're my heartbeat, you're my soul, I love you. Yeah, some of these scenes are just heartbreaking. We also witnessed the beautiful relationship she enjoyed with her nan, played superbly by Leslie Manville. She is just excellent. Jack O'Connell is cast as Blake, who we all fall in and out of love with during the film. Amy's dad, Mitch, gets a pretty sympathetic treatment from Eddie Marson and director Sam Taylor Johnson. But it's Marissa Abella who absolutely owns this film. She is in every scene and is compellingly captivating, embodying the essence of the enigmatic Amy and even singing every bar of every song. I assumed that they would mix in, you know, a bit of you with a lot of her, but it's all you. I mean, was that always the plan from day one? No, it wasn't, actually. I mean, I think they asked me if I could sing maybe, like, twice before I auditioned and, and, and I was like, yeah, kind of, but not like Amy Winehouse. And the most important thing was that I felt like Amy. And then I started to sing with her and, and, and I said, listen, let me train as hard as I can. And then, yeah, about a month and a half into the training, Sam and Giles Martin came in to a singing lesson. And, and I think from that point on, it was kind of like, we think you should sing. <laughs> Oh my goodness, what a performance from this incredibly talented actress and singer. I was completely captivated and would love to see her recognized at the next awards season. I write songs because I've got to make something good out of something bad. Look, the film has had mixed reviews, which I do not understand at all. I think it is an absolute masterpiece and urge you to check it out. It is called Back to Black. It's superb. Four stars. Yeah, look, it's a heartbreaking story that does celebrate her incredible music and makes you wonder what could have been if she was still around. Make sure you go see it. It's great. Dickie does not give out four stars willy-nilly. It must be good. I'll put it on the list. Thank you. Hey there, Today fans. Sarah and... <laughs> What's my name again? Oh my <laughs> Carl. Hey, thanks for watching our <laughs> YouTube channel, though. Subscribe now for more news, special reports and amazing Aussie stories. And Carl misbehaving, Whoa, of course. That never happens. Always happens. What's she talking about?